So you follow my last video and you installed Prusa Slicer. Then you imported one of those profiles I offered in that video. But when you click on that printer, you don't see the default print settings or the default filament settings that Prusa Slicer has to offer. I figured out why and we're gonna fix that today. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Hey everybody, welcome to The Edge of Tech where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. So you set up Prusa Slicer using that video we put out recently that I'll put right up here. And you imported one of the profiles I offered, and when you clicked on that profile, you realized that you don't get the Prusa Slicer defaults for print settings or filament. Well, I tell you what, I got a lot of chats, a couple comments in the video, and some emails about this, and we dove into why this is happening, and today we're gonna fix that. I'm not sure if Prusa Slicer is gonna put out an actual fix to this, and there might be an easier way to do this, but this is the way I found to work across all my printers, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Also, I've taken all the profiles that I uploaded, I updated them and re-uploaded them, so anything going forward will have this fix in them as well. So if you go to the link in the description below and download one of the profiles, you won't have to do this fix, but I wanted to show you how to fix it if you're missing those presets in the print or the filament settings. So let's get to it, here we go. So when I'm looking at the Ender 5 Plus that I imported, I do not see any filament or print settings. Um, if you go to the Creality, the system preset, the Creality Ender 3, you see all of these system presets that are in here, along with system presets here too, for print settings and filament. So what I'm going to show you how to do is get these print settings and filament defaults added into a printer that's not showing them like our Ender 5 Plus here. First thing you need to do is close Prusa Slicer. Then what you want to do is go to your user, whatever your user is, um, and go to app data, roaming, and Prusa slicer. Then you want to go into printer and find the one that's not showing the defaults. In our case, it's the Ender 5 Plus. So we'll right click, and I prefer Notepad. Uh, you can open this in Notepad as well, but um, I really like Notepad. In inherits, we want it to see everything that the default Creality Ender 3 preset shows. We're going to go into inherits and we're going to add Creality Ender 3. Ender dash three. And this will all be in the description below. And then we're going to go down here to uh, print model and we're going to type in all caps Ender, oops, Ender 3 all together like that. And then we're going to go down here to print vendor and type in Creality all capitals. In our printer notes, we're adding the default notes that were under the Creality Ender 3 um, when we installed Prusa. So all this will be in the notes below. So once you get these added and you get your inherit added, we're going to save that and close it. Reopen Prusa Slicer. I'm going to go down here and choose the Ender 5 Plus. If you click up here, you'll notice now we have the system presets available and we have all the system preset filaments available too. Now you can go in and add the print settings and filament that Prusa Slicer offered as defaults in the system for that Creality Ender 3, but you can use that now with any of your printers. Well there you have it. We fixed the profile so now you can see the default print settings and the default filaments that come with the Creality printers in Prusa Slicer. I tell you what, it only takes a couple minutes to do this fix and everything will be in the description below that you need. I'm really hoping Prusa fixes this going forward because a lot of us love to use Prusa Slicer and we don't wanna to have to do this for every one of our profiles. Now something to note, if you have a profile that's already working and you use that profile to make a new printer, it will copy those settings and you will not have to do this fix. That's a pretty cool thing. So if you wanted to rebuild all of your profiles off of the default Ender 3 profile that came with Prusa Slicer, you'd probably be fine and you wouldn't have to do this fix. That being said, I'm glad we can see all the settings now. I hope you guys are enjoying Prusa Slicer. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried it and if you like it and if you're gonna stick with it. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. I hope you learned something and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do that. Click the little button right down here. And if you want to get notified anytime we go live on Mondays for Hot Makes, or I put out a new video anytime on the channel, click that little bell right over here and you'll get notified. Now that's a good one.